Hey guys, it's Ted with American Rifle. Hey, I'm just here at the range with my friend Ken, and I just want to tell you a little bit about the Xilo chassis and the Archimedes rifle as you see it here. Uh, we just returned from SHOT Show uh, Friday night, and really been meaning to get this done a little sooner. But anyway, this is our chassis. Uh, we've got, just to take you from the back end to the front end, on the back end we have a sorbethane uh, recoil pad made for us by Kickies, uh, nice and soft, it's adjustable up and down. Uh, this is a bag rider. The bag rider has uh, uh, what are those called? Swivel cups for your sling all the way around. It's actually on four sides. There's also another swivel cup right here. Uh, there's there's uh, four hardened stainless steel swivel cups in the chassis. There's one right there, and there's another one on this side here. And then two more up front, one here, one here. Uh, so back to the back end. The whole butt assembly is, uh, you, you've got two inches of rapid adjustment here. You just squeeze here and you can pull, you know, push it forward, pull it back, or, you know, put it someplace in between if you have more motor, if you have better motor skills than I do anyway. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so... Uh, your cheek piece is adjustable. There's approximately two inches of adjustment up and down. You can pull the knob out and rotate it, and that makes it go up and down. It's actually a rack and pinion, and it's actually a real gear with a 20 degree pressure angle, actual involute gear teeth. For you engineers out there, you might appreciate that. Uh, what else? Uh, the cheek piece is silicone rubber, and it's ribbed uh, lengthwise to keep your face from uh, sliding down when it gets wet. And it feels really good against the skin. Uh, I think it'll be good. I think you guys will like it. Uh, if you don't, It does rattle a little bit, a tiny little bit, but if we added this little, this little screw there, you tighten it up and then it goes solid. And when you tighten that screw, it actually, the, uh, the, the, the elevator, which is the, uh, the piece upon which the uh, cheek piece sits, it, uh, it actually rides on the dovetail. So when you tighten it up, it gets drawn into a taper, so it's super tight. Uh, there's another uh, one inch of length of pull adjustment uh, that's available by loosening this screw here. Uh, these two titanium rods, 3 8 diameter, they can be pulled out by another inch. So your total length of pull is uh, uh, 12 inches to 15 inches, and that's a total of 3 inches, and 2 of those inches are quick adjust, quarter inch increments. Uh, the elevator, uh, again, the piece upon which the cheek piece sits, it's reversible uh, so that if uh, you'll see it in the pictures that we took, but basically you have a tremendous amount of adjustment left and right, fore and aft, yaw, and then again two inches of up and down. Uh, we changed the section uh, of this, of this basic, I guess it's, I guess you could call it a strut, uh, or just it's just a structural piece of the chassis. Um, it, uh, on the prototypes, it was an eye section. Top flange of the eye kind of would, would hit the meaty part of your hand. So now it's an upside down T. Increase the web thickness a little bit uh, so you can get your hand. You can actually hold this thing like a bolt gun. Uh, there's no structural member uh, going from the tang to the butt. It's not necessary. Uh, and it's actually, I, I think it's bad. I mean, be, only because. I want to be able to. I want to be able to get my hand here. Uh, my thumb naturally wants to be on the back part of the grip, where it's you know where it slopes down, kind of like a Manners or a McMillan. I mean, just precision rifle stocks have been that way since the beginning of time. And to that end, let me just a little brief uh, tangent story here. And when we talk about like in in design, there's that which is highly evolved, and that which is highly engineered, and there's also that which is highly evolved and highly engineered. And those are really, really good designs when you come, come across them. A rifle stock, in many ways, is highly evolved. Uh, they've been around for a long time. And like, if you look at like an American classic hunting stock or even like, a, uh, like just even, even the McMillan and the Manners T5s, those shapes work for a reason, right? People like them. Uh, if they didn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't stand the test of time and they're, you know, they've done that. So there's a lot to be said about that. So again, 
bolt action stocks, you know, you want that thumb back here. It's just natural. I know a lot of people are used to the thumb on the side, but they've been forced to get used to it. You know, it should have been driven the other way around. The hand determines how the stock is designed. So enough of that. Anyway, and here we have an Archimedes action. Uh, you can read more about that on the website, but real quick, it's got the one with it's the one with the uh, the pivoting bolt knob that gets you the super powerful extraction. Ten round magazine. This is one of my mags. Uh, on the the mag latch, it's got a little hump right here. What the hump does, it prevents the magazine from rotating about the front uh, top corner because if if the rotate like if if you put the uh if you put the rifle on the magazine like if you're on a barricade or you know pushing it back like this or you're just sitting the rifle on the magazine right you don't want the magazine to impinge on the bolt it this doesn't what prevents it is that little bump on the mag latch the bump is concentric with the pivot pin so the the the, the magazine being uh, forced into the mag latch can't make the mag latch rotate uh, Archimedes rifle comes with a Trigger Tech Special. Uh, this is a Bartland barrel with a uh, all scratched up. It's just a Rust-Oleum paint job. They'll be nitrided in real life. But these came uh, right, we got these in right before SHOT Show. Didn't have time to send them out for black nitride or for a nit salt bath nitride. So we just rattle canned it, but since then I've scratched the hell out of it. But uh, so the barrel, it's a uh, Keith Sanderson and I. Keith's a dear friend. And pretty smart guy and super accomplished shooter. Uh, we were just talking about contours. We were both fans of medium palma. This is approximately a medium palma, only uh, you know, you got one inch 250 shank immediately in front of the shank. You've got an interface for a 12 point wrench, inch and an eighth, I think, uh, or 27 mil, or right in there. You, you guys will figure it out. It'll be on the website. Uh, so then it, uh, it transitions down with a big radius to a cylinder. Not a taper. It's not. It's not a cone. It's cylindrical all the way to the all the way to the muzzle break, uh, which is uh, 870 di diameter. Area 419 break on the on the uh, muzzle. Uh, shout to shout out to John Addis. He's a good friend and good engineer and knows what he's doing. I like him. Uh, on the front end, uh, we got Arca. Runs down the, the length. Again, we got the little nubbins for the Area 419 Arca lock. We got on shoots down the center. Got a series of holes on either side of the on shoots for weights. Uh, you can put uh, three pounds inside uh, the four end channel and another pound and a half on the outside via M lock. Uh, the top row of holes is for a I, I don't know what they're called the the night bridge the the uh, night vision mount or a lot of names for it I think but I don't I'm not very good with names but it's the thing that goes over the the uh, the fore end so you can attach night vision or put your hand on it or whatever you want. But uh, yeah, swivel cups up here and we've got a little interface for a, a auxiliary bipod mount. I know some people like them further forward. Uh, we'll, if you want it, we'll make it usually, sometimes, not always. Uh, <laughs> oh, and then one more thing, probably my favorite feature on it is this uh, the level vial that just pops out uh, either side, right? And the nice thing about this, right, I'm going to be 50 this year, unfortunately, sad. But my eyes, I'm already on readers, 1.5s. If the level vial is the level, if the level vial is behind the uh, the bolt, the tang of the receiver, I can't see it. But even without my glasses, I can get that level in between the lines. I can get the bubble in between the lines. So, uh, what else? I think that pretty well sums it up. Uh, oh yeah, the grips, we use wooden grips. This actually happens to be a piece of ebony, and we just did it because it was cool. Uh, don't, don't, we're not gonna do that though. They're gonna be walnut in real life and we'll stain them black. If you want ebony, you're on your own. <laughs> some of you some of you can do it, but uh, we can make the, the this part of the chassis open source too. So if you want to make your own grips, print your own grips, do whatever you want. Uh, that's it, man. Uh, or guys and girls, or ladies and gentlemen, not, not all men, I guess, out there. But uh, yeah, that's it. That This is the American Rifle Company, Archimedes Rifle. As it sits here, minus the scope uh, and the rings, you're looking, I think, at 3,800 bucks as, as with, with the Bartland Barrel. So uh, and that's what this is, by the way, a Bartland Barrel. We're also offering them with Criterion Barrels, 
and we're probably going to offer them with LRI barrels as well. LRI being Long Rifles Inc. from Chad. Chad Dixon. Good guy. Good friend. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the length. Didn't mean to babble too much. And uh, that's it. Enjoy. Bye.